So today we are going to take apart a power supply. Now this is the Corsair RM1000E. Now this is the 2022 model so you won't get the PCIe 5.0 power connector for your new RTX 40 series GPUs. But I mean it still is a very good power supply. And there are zero teardown videos of this thing on the internet. So I thought I would give this a try. It can be very tricky to open up this thing. So let's get right into it. Now this is a fully modular power supply which means all of your connections will come off like that. So before you start opening up your power supply, it's a good practice to open up all of these connections. It will help you in the process. Okay, so this is the power supply and first of all, you'll have to flip over to the side of the cables. You can see a little bit of a small sticker over here. Just use a small knife or something and cut that off. Now remember that this will void your warranty. So before you cut this sticker off, just make your mind. If you have to change it, change it right now. Okay, once you've cut it off, I would recommend that first to take off the screws of the fans. This will make it a bit easier to get the top shroud off. So just take out a screwdriver and open it up. Remember that if you're opening it up for the first time, the screws may be a bit stiff. So keep that in mind, put some extra pressure in there and it will come off. Okay, so now do this for all of the four screws over here and that will be it. Okay, so once I've opened all of the four screws, now turn over to these stickers over here. Now, now it can be a bit difficult to take this off, but it won't be a very difficult task. And remember, you don't need to just take it off entirely. Just open it up until you get the screw. And once you get the screw, just use a screwdriver and open the screw off. Now do this for all of the four corners of the stickers. And uh, just, you know, once I've opened the screw, just paste it back so that the adhesive does not come off, you know, when you're using it after cleaning and stuff. Okay, so this is the last side. Oh, this can take a bit of a time, but yeah, you need to do this if you want to open the power supply up. Alright, once you're done with that, the top shroud will just come off like that and look at that fan. Okay, so just pull the cable and it will come off and now you can take the fan apart. Yeah, this fan can get really dirty once you've used the power supply for about one to one and a half years. Luckily, it has just been like a couple of months since I've been using this power supply. It isn't that dirty. And there is your power supply. Okay, so Corsair is using a Honghua fan over here. You can see it's already gotten a bit dirty. I'll probably need to clean it. And yeah, you can see this is a high quality fan, a rifle bearing one as Corsair calls it. And there is a PSU. Now you can just use a small little brush and clean this. Just remember, do not touch the parts directly. If you, if you touch the wrong part, you may just kill your power supply without knowing it. That's all. Your power supply is open now. Like now these stickers, I don't know what's wrong with them. Once you open them, they just don't try to, yeah, stick back like they were once. So if this is bothering you, you can just use some glue over here. But remember that you might have to take this apart once again. And in that case, this thing might give you a hard time. Or just duct tape it together if you don't mind how it looks. So I mean, taking apart your power supply might be very necessary once it gets pretty dirty and yucky. I mean, it can affect your power delivery and stuff like that if there is some real dirt sitting inside this thing. But I mean, you can easily take it apart. Obviously, that will void your warranty and stuff. But you can take it apart, clean this thing if it gets pretty dirty and then put it apart together. Also, if you're someone like me who wants to know what's going on inside that thing, you might want to open it. So that was all for this short video. I hope it helped you. Open your RM1000Es. This will also work for almost the entirety of Corsair lineup these days. They have gone for this sticker thing. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video. If you want to watch the RTX 4090 review, that will be over here. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.